Welcome back, everyone. Reagan Winkler is with us today. She's the executive director of the Better Business Bureau for our area, talking a little bit about the pandemic unemployment assistance. And that's a real thing, but we've had some scammers go out and they're uh, trying to get your identity. Kind of give us a, a sense of what's going on and what you've heard. Yes, yeah, so we've had a lot of consumers call in and they have gotten a letter from the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services saying that their pandemic unemployment assistant benefits are expiring or they have expired and that these consumers, they did not apply for these benefits at all and they've received this letter and they have a lot of confusion and they're really not sure what to do next. And so we have um, a couple of steps that they should follow and look into what's going on so that with the upcoming tax season, they're not hit with a 1099 tax form and their actual um, money is taken away from them. What, what are the suggestions? What should those people do? Because that's got to be a real sense of panic when you get something like that in the mail and you think, well, I didn't apply for any of this, but what should they do at that point? Yeah, so if someone applied for benefits in your name or um, use any of your information at all, um, they should contact the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services and we um, here at the office can give you the number for that and you or you can go online as well and you should also um, check with your credit um, score and you should call the three major credit bureaus and make sure that no one has applied for anything else using your information because if someone has applied for unemployment in your name they most likely have your social security number and other valuable information so you need to contact them and put a one-year free fraud alert on your credit reports just to make sure that this is the only thing that they are possibly applying for and then you should also um, contact your banks and everything that you have um, really valuable information on to make sure that no one is still using your information for things like that. Yeah, and almost as you said before, almost any American can get free credit reports, so that's not an issue too. Is there any way to know how they're getting, I guess, your, your information, your social security card, or are they just using the normal avenues they would any day to kind of commit identity fraud? Um, they're just using normal um, ways so far that we know. Um, the government's not really sure how this has happened. It is a big scam that's going on. It's not just in Ohio, it's in other states as well. So you could get um, a letter from any other state saying that someone has claimed benefits in your name. We here haven't received anybody saying that, but in the past when this all started, we did get um, calls from consumers saying they had other unemployment benefits in their name in Texas, in Florida, and other states like Mississippi. Yeah, and I wonder, too, in, in some situations where people actually did file for this legitimately, if they get a, a letter saying, hey, you're almost up, even though, you know, they may have gotten one payment. Have you gotten any word of that for the people who may have legitimately said, okay, I, I need this help? Um, not yet. We've only received calls from people that are confused why they received this in the first place. And we urge them to take the correct steps to follow to get this taken care of now instead of waiting. Because in the past, we've had people call and they've got it taken care of. And I'm not sure if they've received this letter. And these are new people or if they're receiving it still. But um, just take the steps as soon as possible, especially for in the future for tax season and in case your identity is compromised. I think, uh, as you said, you, you get a notice like that and it's kind of uh, kind of freaks you out at first. But I would have to think, obviously, the government is aware of this. So maybe we do the steps, as you said, but maybe not 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 freak out because they, they know what's going on. Right. Right. Correct. No need to panic. Just need to make sure that they are aware that your name is also um, compromised and that you are a part of the issue that's going on and that you are not someone that filed for these unemployment benefits. This seems like such a, a common thing that they try to do. Is there a concern that this will continue into tax season? That then, Because I know you've talked about in the past where you say, hey, file your taxes early and, and don't put things in your mailbox, that kind of thing, because people will try to file under your name. Yes, exactly. So there are um, specific tax forms for unemployment, and those are 1099s. And over the past year during the pandemic, people received that, and that was their first notice that someone has used or used their information to get benefits or that their identity might be compromised. So we're trying to stay ahead of it and just make sure that if you did receive that or if in the past you've received that, just to keep up on everything to make sure that one problem doesn't turn into multiple. As you said, follow those steps. Okay, hey, Reagan, thank you so much. We appreciate the advice. Yep, you're welcome. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Nice talking with you. We'll be back after this.